Welcome back, everyone. Hello. <laughs> this is the second video um, mm -hmm. in our series of discussions about G Gundam, Mobile mm -hmm. Fighter G Gundam. Mm -hmm. um, and now we're going to talk a little bit about racism. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Let's get that straight out of the way. Yeah, before we start talking about the other stuff. Because mm -hmm. it's a, it's an interesting topic. Mm -hmm. um, and I think uh, G Gundam uh, has some weird um, approaches to it. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess, first off... The a lot of the a lot of the the racial issues yes. in G Gundam mm -hmm. are really um, I guess they boil down to the fact that it's um, based on Japan's ideas about other nations and and maybe not even Japan's ideas. Mm -hmm. Let's say this: the creators, especially the designer of the robots, because it's the one guy. Well, it's, yeah, it's it's two two, two designers okay, basically, two designers. Uh, but um, yeah, who do basically all of that. It's mm -hmm. it's their vision of the Japanese opinion of other countries, or not even opinion, but I think what he thought, what they thought in their heads when, boy, what does Sweden look like to the average Japanese person? What will they remember yeah. about yeah. Sweden? Oh, we'll make it anthemic in this way. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, some of those things are stereotypes and not... Mm -hmm. There's nothing that's like negative stereotyping. Like there's nothing that's like. There's a few few. Uh, like for example, tequila Gundam. Okay. Tequila Gundam. I that is. Corrected. Yes. Yeah. Um, but that that's an American name, isn't it? Is it called Tequila Gundam in the Japanese version? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. In in the English version, it's called Spike Gundam. Okay. Okay. Well, so oh my god, America made something slightly less racist. That, yeah. That's shocking. Yeah. Well, that was actually <laughs> less the racism issue because America doesn't care about racism. And it was because it's a reference about to alcohol. alcohol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So okay. So like, there's definitely um, innocently, but let's call it lazily. Mm -hmm. In on some lazy level, these developers were just trying to create something that would be easily identifiable to a Japanese person, because I don't think they thought this is going to be universal. This is something Yeah, that's at the time it was just Japan. Why would this ever air in the U.S. or South Africa or mm -hmm. Sweden or whatever? Um, so it is absolutely laziness. And if you are a creator, just because G Gundam did it and it's kind of okay, it's not okay for you now because we know better. We are mm -hmm. aware of a global mm -hmm. environment. So it's problematic, but it's not like actively malicious. Yeah, no, it's there's it's, definitely no malice. It's there. laziness, and it's a thing that we can learn from, and it's not a thing that we should honor, mm -hmm. but it is a thing that we can acknowledge as not malicious. Sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. The um, there's a there's an interesting um, point that I was thinking about just just now. Mm -hmm. um, earlier today, I read an article. Um, that had some photos from the Miss Universe, <laughs> Miss Universe <laughs> competition, and some all of those are amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, and the um, the pictures mm. of these um, the the costumes, that the they're cultural wearing. costumes. Yeah, they're wearing these cultural costumes. Mm. Um, like for example, the Japanese one. Um, she's in a Japanese um, uh, like not samurai, but a, a feudal soldier outfit. Yes, and she has a yari and a spear. Right. Um, and she looks very cool. Yeah. Um, but it kind of looks to me the way that, like, it looks a little bit like um, the Rising Gundam. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. But so, it's probably the most muted. Actually, I want to say, like, two years ago, maybe it was America, actually had one that looked straight up like a Gundam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a difference between when you do it yourself mm -hmm. uh, and when somebody else does it towards you. So, like... Canada, Miss, mm -hmm. Miss Canada. With a hockey stick. With a hockey stick. The, she was a hockey ring. She was the whole thing. She was a yeah. net. Well, she was like the patron saint of hockey. Yeah, sure. Um, and, and man, like if I'm surprised that that's not exactly mm -hmm. what the Canada Gundam looked like. Yeah. <laughs> no. um, and I think it's, it's very different when you do it for yourself, mm -hmm. you know, making those comments about yourself than if... Some random Japanese guy made a hockey. But it sounds <laughs> to me, <laughs> it sounds to me like the same thing. Like not this. It, mm. I know it's it's different if you're doing it mm. than if they're doing it. Mm. But it seems like the attempt was to do something reminiscent of that style, uh, that that idea where you just take these things. Because uh, you know, they, I mean, they specifically call it the like cultural costume. Like, yeah, that is the point of it. Yeah. Um, but not all of them are that like 
on the nose. You know, um, Hades was this beautiful floral thing um, that wasn't like, didn't have any kind of stereotyping in it. It was just yeah. something beautiful and evocative of the island. Yeah, but um, there were there were there were there were quite a few that were really yeah, I'm sure, hardcore. I'm sure. And I think that has a lot to do with the designer and and, and, and you know yeah. laziness and and you know well let's just fall back to easily identifiable mm. you know iconic images rather than anything that's more um, artistic or yeah. more more you know authentic rather than true you know true with yeah. big finger quotes um yeah 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 absolutely i'll and i'll drop a um a link to an mm. article with some of these photos mm. um in the in the doodly do yes can we say that when we get to i don't think it's a trademark okay. um <laughs> i don't think it's registered sorry vlog brothers um that, that's um idea channel mm. idea channel even more sorry idea channel we are drinking woohoo um, so, so maybe some examples, some examples, some examples. cause if, if they haven't seen them, ah. um, then the examples probably, um, are helpful. And uh, please rush off to Google while we're talking about this. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Look them up yourself because they're easy to find. If you look, um, on the Gundam wiki, mm. um, uh, there's a, there's a wikia page, uh, mm. for Gundam, which we'll, probably um, which drop we'll also put there. Yeah. Um, and you can find, you can find nice pictures of them mm. all. Um, uh, but so the glaring example right. um, that we've already used is Tequila Gundam. Mm. Tequila Gundam has a sombrero. It does. Um, and it's called Tequila Gundam. Yes. Sombrero with a V-Fin. That's one of those situations where the V-Fin should not have been there. Yes, yes. There are some places a V-Fin yeah, should not his, go. his shoulder piece was a big cactus. Correct. Um, and that's why he was called spikes. Spike Gundam. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess. And he had, like, the, the beautiful Serape blanket. Yes. As his chest piece. The, the, the poncho, the, the stereotypical poncho. Which is a shame, because you know what? If they had just, like, gone poncho and built it off of the idea of a poncho... It could have been fucking beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I would actually, I would really like to see someone and redo these. You know what? Like That's this. exactly what it is. There's a lot of these little things that if they just stopped at mm -hmm. a certain point, instead of going all the way into what will little Japanese kids identify as Mexico, mm -hmm. they probably would have been better off. And it feels like, um, it feels like uh, a lot of it is not necessarily laziness, but mm. rush. Oh, yeah. Um, because there's like, there's a lot of Gundams in this show. Tons. Tons. Um, I mean, there's probably there's probably about fifty, mm. roughly. Mm. I mean, because there's at least one in every episode, mm. uh, but not necessarily a new one in every mm. episode. But there's there's a lot. There's a lot of designs. Mm. Um, so I'm sure that they were working on tight deadlines. And, and you know, in fairness, like the story of Tequila Gundam is kind of lovely. It's mm -hmm. this guy, it's his daughter, his his sister is sick from living in the station. She's got some yeah. kind of station based illness. And so he's doing whatever he can to get her off of the station. Mm -hmm. And thus he becomes a Gundam pilot to save her from the space illness that's going to kill her anyway. Um, and it's, you know, it's got a really nice touching moment where the douchebag main character makes a good choice yeah. on someone's behalf, but still doesn't lose because, well, we'll talk about the Gary Stu thing later. But yeah. like the stories of each of these pilots are not ridiculous stereotypes that are painful mm -hmm. it's just the visuals of the gundams that are really offensive which is yeah. you know well i like, can live with you know some of them are some of them are weird like mm. i don't even know like nether gundam nether, oh. nether, <laughs> nether gundam please go google nether gundam because um, you won't believe us until you see it yeah yeah you can you can look at nether gundam mm. um which was um like i think whirlwind gundam or hurricane gundam or something yeah they call it hurricane gundam in the yeah um which is weird because there, there are no um hurricanes don't have in the any hurricane powers. but um so the the nether gundam mm. um is a windmill um, <laughs> look google it google it um it's a windmill and, um, and and that was the gimmick too they they hid as windmills yeah and then nobody knew that there was an army of windmill gundams on yeah. the station until they all activate at once in the grand finale. Oops, spoiler. Yeah. Um, so, Nether Gundam is Nether mm. Gundam. It's not, like, overwhelmingly offensive. It's no. just kind of dumb. Again, just... just um, well, not, yeah, just... They went too far and were too lazy in working too quickly. Yeah. Ironically, mm. the director of the show, um, when he saw the um, the compilation of the, the, the new robots that were being introduced, because they had to rapid fire introduce a lot of them in right. the, the, the tournament. Right. Uh, he liked the Nether Gundam. He thought it was cute. Like, it was a good, easy way to express um, that. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so Nether Gundam, um, Pharaoh Gundam, Pharaoh Gundam. Pharaoh Gundam is a zombie story, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that one is one where it's a little bit, a mm, little too on the nose with the story. Nether Gundam, again, spoilers, sorry. Uh, the pilot is dead. Um, there's a mm. suggestion that he's a mummy, but he's like a kind of technological mummy. Because... Feral Gundam. Feral Gundam. Gundam. You said Nether Gundam. Nether Gundam. I'm sorry. Alcohol. Yeah. Um, yeah, Pharaoh Gundam, his pilot was fighting and the cockpit blew up at the same time as the head and there was some weird science fiction blah blah blah. Yeah, we'll get to that one when yeah, we talk yeah, about yeah. the story. But, yeah. but basically, like, that one is a little, mm, okay, so the only thing you can come up with Egypt is that they have mummies? Yeah. All right, okay. You gotta work a little bit harder than that. Yes. New creators, you need to work harder than that. Yeah. Um, let's see, what were some of the other ones? Mm. Um, the... I don't even know where it's from. The the zebra printed. Oh, the Africa. That's the I thing. Mean, right, it's right. from Africa. All of Africa. Uh, and that's that's a common trope. We um, all got to do better than that. All um, of us. Yeah, Americans do. Um, Americans do this all the time. Mm -hmm. um, Amer uh, there's Africa and there's Egypt, and they're right. two different countries apparently. Right, but that's uh, it. They're they're not a continent that has one of them. No. no, no, no. Um, so the the zebra Gundam mm -hmm. is. The zebra Gundam. Um, it has a spear. It looks like a zebra. Um, it's it's awful. Can um, you imagine? Like, okay, so they call all of the countries Neo whatever. <clears throat> yeah, so like Neo Africa. Neo Africa. If they'd done like Neo Timbuktu mm -hmm. and had like this beautiful mosaic inspired Muslim Gundam, you know, it mm -hmm. would have been awesome off the charts. It wins because it's mathematically sound and it, mm -hmm. you know. There is a Muslim Gundam. Is it? There's a Minaret Gundam uh, oh, from Turkey. From Turkey, that's right. Yeah. Um, but those are kind of white people, so... Um, kind of. A lot I, of Europeans I guess that's stuff, the, the they perception. look at Turkey as... Yeah. They look at it as different. But Africa is considered one place because they are all, all dark. -skinned. At least at the time, I guess. Because yeah. now Turkey would be lumped in with Muslims. Right. Um, right, right. Which is a whole different... Like, this is... You have to remember when mm. G Gundam was well before September 11th. Mm. Um, so, a lot of different culture. Some of you weren't born yet. Some of you... Yeah. That's, <laughs> um, no, no. Mm, mm, um, so, mm. um, the, the, there was, there was a Muslim Gundam, yes. um, but there's, there's just, there's a bit of this here and there. And, mm. um, I think that like, like you said, it was, it's a little bit of laziness. Mm. Um, it's definitely something that we could work better towards in mm. the future. Mm. Um, and look at this, not both as something that's awesome and fun to watch and also as just great. I don't want to do that. Yeah. I won't do that. I, you know, I'm going to encourage my my the creators that I like to not do this, and I'm going to not do it myself. Yeah. Well, I think, cautionary tale. Right? I think we've seen better too, mm -hmm. um, because like in Build Fighters, um, there's a lot of homages to G Gundam. Yeah. And they haven't really done a lot of that. Like we haven't seen Tequila Gundam. No, they um, learned where to stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, that's, I don't think that that's going to be a big deal, mm. but I think that, um, it's definitely something to learn from. Mm. Um, and you know, it's fun to look back on because mm. it was a different time, mm. like, right. Mm. Um, and anime has changed and Gundam has changed. And anime has become global and people, yeah. uh, we never expected that. Yeah. This was before, um, this is before most anime hit the States. Mm. Like, this is before... Vampire Hunter D mm. uh, aired in America. Mm. This is before most Americans had seen Akira, mm. um, and you know, Ghost in the Shell and stuff mm. like that. So it was, it was a long time ago. Yeah, pour one out for Ghost in the Shell, but that's another. Yeah, Ghost chapter. in the Shell is a whole different video. <laughs> that is another. Um, and weeping. there's not enough alcohol in the house right now for Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. I'm actually out of my white Russian. Yeah. But I have to start on the sake. So I guess it's time to break then. Yep, time okay. to break. See you next video. See you next video.